the best money model that I can think of, and I've, I used to hear people talk about this, is residual income or royalties. You know, so you build something once. I mean, that's what I hate most about the, the job that I do now is every day is like Groundhog Day. I get there and you do the same job. And at the end of the day, you know, you look at your cash drawer and you make a deposit and you run a bunch of reports and you go home and you come back the next day and you do the same job. And then you look at your cash drawer and you make your deposit and you run the reports and you go home and you come back the next day. Oh, and they cut your hours because it's a government job and it's very secure. No, it's not. It's not secure. You don't have job security. Job security is what you do for yourself. So to my parents and other people who love me who were very excited about me getting a secure government job, no, not anymore. That post office could go away at the whim of any knucklehead in office because we don't make enough money there to cover our expenses. And we are supported probably by the larger post offices. So myself and the person I work for, yeah, you know, sorry, here's your gold watch. Only it's made in China and the gold is going to fall off and no, you don't even get a watch. We're just screwing with you there. No watch for you. So, yeah, it's, you know, when, when, when I talk about, yeah, I could convert my military time and get my federal retirement, that's assuming there is a federal retirement when I get there. I don't, I don't trust the government that much. I work for the government. Yeah. So I'm putting my, I'm, I'm betting my future on, things like this you know if I create enough content if I do if I serve enough people then I will deserve to eat when I'm old because I'll just keep making these videos until I can't all right to all the new subscribers thank you uh, to everybody who has watched the videos thank you again it's you know I would probably sit here and talk to the camera anyway but that gets pretty boring you know, and if nobody's watching it, yeah, I'll probably do something else, you know. So I do appreciate everybody who's watched. I do read all the comments. Uh, I respond to as many as I can. Again, I live off grid. I don't have cell phone coverage out here. So I don't have internet until I get 10 miles from here is where my phone starts to work. So I don't always get to check my messages every day is the point so when I do get you know I, ironically when I'm at that soul sucking job that I joke about all the time that's when I get to check my internet you know so in between selling stamps or something like that I'll see who is watching my videos so it's you thank you thanks for watching hello and welcome to um well Carlin's Worlds yeah, that should work. I'm a wanderer, a tinkerer, sometimes a nomad, a military veteran. I do things differently. There will be tinkering. I have a motorcycle, a truck, and a school bus. I live off-grid, so there will be some solar, batteries, inverters, and maybe even some wind. It blows. And that's all I can fit into about 30 seconds. Oh, and please, if you like any of this, it would be really awesome if you could subscribe and click that notify bell. Drop a comment if you have any questions or ideas. Share, like, comment, subscribe, notify. Oh, and Patreon if you're really an awesome kind of person. Cool, on with the show already. All right, good morning world, woo. Yeah, it's uh, 4.44 a.m. Monday, November 5th, 2018. 4.44 a.m., I've been up for a while. Got my coffee. Eating my breakfast burritos, life is good. It's Monday. Ah, oh, it's Monday. That means I have to go to work today. That blows. <sighs> anyway, I'm actually looking at some videos that I shot a while ago. I'm getting ready to edit them, and I usually work on these a little bit in the morning before I go to work just to get my day off to a good start before I go to that job thing that I don't talk very much about. And I don't know, I'm just, the numbers are funny. Um, about last year, about a year ago now, YouTube changed how they were paying out for YouTube videos. 
and in case you didn't know there is it is possible to make money putting videos on YouTube it used to be that they would pay from basically the first video based on how many um, views that video got and then you probably notice that YouTube puts um, advertising on the on the beginning of the videos since Google or since yeah Google owns YouTube and they paid like billions of dollars for it and at the time it was like why would people want to or why would why would a company buy something like YouTube that was basically specialized in cat videos and you know it, it didn't really make sense but here they are making boatloads of money on it now so go figure my point though is I've been on YouTube for over 10 years and I didn't really have a platform I guess is the best word until I moved out here to the ranch so when I started doing my off-grid living videos and school bus videos then I had something to talk about that was fairly consistent and people started actually paying attention which is kind of fun it blows my mind to realize that there's one video that I made that has been watched 20,000 times already. It's one of the Harbor Freight solar panel videos. So that apparently has struck a chord with people. But in 10 years, <clears throat> excuse me, still waking up. In 10 years, I got up to my first 100 subscribers. That was at the beginning of 2018 this year. I was right at 100. And because I didn't have a consistent thing to say, I wasn't putting up a lot of videos, and so I took, you know, I didn't really have any subscribers back then. Nobody had any reason to subscribe to me. I had some videos, but, you know, they weren't consistent. Um, now, in November, I'm over 440 subscribers. I say that because when YouTube made their change, they decided that you needed to have 1,000 subscribers before they would start actually paying you. And you don't actually get the first check until you get the first $100 in your account, and then they'll send you a check, or you know, you'd probably set up direct deposit, most likely. So, at the beginning of this year, when they changed that, I was, I was, I was pretty, pretty sad, mad, disillusioned, whatever not going to go into that too much but because at that point I had $46 in the account already I was almost halfway to my first paycheck and now 11 months later I'm still at $46 because they stopped adding to the account until I hit a thousand so I'm like oh it's gonna take me freaking another 10 12 years to hit a thousand so I was like oh you know and, you know, here's here's kind of the point is I spend, now I, I enjoy what I'm doing out here. I enjoy making the videos. Um, it's kind of a fun process for me. It takes a lot of my free time. You know, if I decide to build something, sometimes I build things that I don't do video of and they go so much faster because you don't think about where the camera is and you don't have to stop and talk and explain it to the camera. But I know that I have a bunch of video channels on YouTube that I really enjoy watching and I love watching people build things you know I learn how to do things that way so I like giving back okay so if people like what I'm doing yeah I'll shoot some videos and show how I did things not all of them turn out very good and some some of the videos you see it's like oh that didn't work very well you know and then a while later you'll see the next video of it works a little bit better and then a little bit better and a little bit better and eventually it almost works you know I don't claim to be a master builder. I don't claim to be a lot of things, actually. I just, I'm kind of having fun with it, so. Anyway, um, the other thing that they said is you needed to have a certain amount of viewers, a certain amount of viewed hours, you know, there's a couple benchmarks there. Well, pretty much since January, all of my numbers have been high enough to qualify, except I didn't have 1,000 viewers, or 1,000 subscribers. And there's another video I, I talked about this a little bit more in detail, um, Tin Cup. 
I think I'll edit that on the end of this one just so you can see what I'm talking about because I don't really like I'm not comfortable holding out my little tin cup asking for money you know I like the idea of if you do it it'll happen okay I enjoy what I'm doing I'm not doing this for the money however you look at some of this and you're like okay if you do it enough times the money will come and I started to think about it maybe a couple years ago even and I realized that the job that I'm doing now the work you know like that place that I go to on Monday mornings that I don't really love I put a lot of time into that and at the end of my career if I take the earliest retirement the amount of money I'm going to get from that is incredibly small and that's based on the fact that I would convert my military time towards my federal retirement. So I look at that, I'm like, okay, yes, I would get some retirement from it, but it's written in stone. This is how much you will get, and you don't get any more unless you work longer until you get to the point that then when you get to Social Security age, minimum Social Security, plus this little retirement would almost be enough to live off of. It's less than I make now, and I struggle now. So I'm like, ooh, that's not very good, right? So I don't focus so much on doing this for the money. However, there's not a limit to how much money you can make here. Really. Um, if enough people like what you're doing, you can then quit your job and do your videos full time. There is a lot of people that are doing that. So that's just kind of something to, th to think about. And when I look at my numbers, and I, I kind of joke about this sometimes because way back in the 90s, I guess, some of my friends were Amway distributors. And listening listening to them talk about it, I'm like, oh, I kind of like the idea of that. Uh, right up until the point where I had to ask somebody for the sale, again, with a tin cup, here, would you like to buy this thing and give me some of that shiny stuff that you've got, you know? I, I realized at that moment that I would probably starve to death because I hate asking for money. I really do. It wasn't until a few years later when I started to do my own businesses. Uh, I was a wedding photographer and wedding video for 10 or 12 years. I did um, average 20 or 30 weddings a year. I actually did okay. I had enough money that I could almost afford to buy cameras once in a while. You know, and sometimes I paid my rent. So I never thrived there, but I was relatively successful in a smaller market. In the process of that, I started reading a lot more about how business, excuse me, more of this stuff. In the process of learning how to do wedding video and do it as a business, I did a lot of reading. A lot of websites were talking about this and they all said the same things. In the beginning, you're going to be underpricing everybody else, you know, because you can't afford, you know, you don't have the experience. So you, you try to get the low dollar. And then at some point you realize that you can't afford to do that because you've just wore out your camera and you don't have any money to buy a new camera. So then you have to think about raising your prices. And that's what everybody else did. And that's why their prices were higher than yours. Okay. Jumping ahead, though, I finally saw something. I think it was Bob Proctor said it. He's like, if you look at the word deserve, what do you deserve? He breaks it down. He's like, well, deserve comes from serving. If you look at this guy with the big house, in a perfect world, and it doesn't always work out this way, but he probably serves more people than you because he gives more service he deserves more money. If you do little things, you probably get little money. If you do big things, you get big money. The people who take on more responsibility, the people who um, work harder tend to get more money. If you show up to your job and you just do the minimum, you get the minimum wage. That's kind of why it's there. Um, so when I started to think about that, I was like, okay, so 
looking at my numbers, I am actually doing the work. I'm, I'm getting the views. I'm creating a lot of content. Some people are saying they like what I'm doing. So I think I'm, I'm striking a chord, you know, and not, you know, I'm not going to take over the internet, but in my little world, I think that people are liking what I'm doing. So when I, when I look at all of the numbers across the board, everything is going up and everything is above the minimum except for the subscribers. But I keep seeing that there's about 8% of the people watching my videos are subscribers between six and 10, it jumps around. That means that there's about 90% of the people who are watching my videos are not subscribers. So if literally, if I had all of the subscribers ask one friend, this comes back to Amway, okay, the old multi-level thing. If you recruited one friend, right, and then the next month you, re you recruited another friend, and if you could teach your friends how to recruit their friends because they know people you don't know, and if every month everybody got one new subscriber, one new friend, one new distributor, right, I'm like, I, I laugh when I say that because I hated that when I was there, right? But I'm like, if you, now with social media, you'd be like, if you're on a forum, you know, like for instance, I found um, um, Facebook groups, you know, so when I make a video about my motorcycle, anything I do about the motorcycle where I do a video, I show, I click share to this group, you know, so I put that video on that group so that the rest of the world doesn't necessarily have to see the motorcycle video so much, but the guys who like motorcycles, they'll see that and they're like, oh, you know. And I'll get consistently 80 or 100 people watching that video, where a lot of my other videos only get 15 or 20 people watching, okay? You know, it's like not everybody cares about that. So every time I share that video in that group, I get a lot of hits. Great. I don't know if I'm getting any subscribers, though. You know, I don't track it. I don't really see which videos get the subscribers, I guess, is the question. But anyway, I may have to edit some of this. It may not make sense in the morning. Um, I guess to summarize, though, there's a few ways that I could be making money here on YouTube. One is just based on, I create the video, if it's an engaging video, advertisers bid on putting their ad on my video. And they look at that based on a few things, like how many people watched it, what are the demographics, that's the cool thing about YouTube, because Google owns YouTube. Google loves analytics and demographics and that kind of thing. And so if you're a subscriber, they can kind of figure out, okay, this person is, you know, a male that's 30 years old that has these shopping habits. Okay. So if I'm doing a video about my Harbor Freight solar panels, odds are people who have bought that kind of thing in the past will get to see ads based on solar panels or batteries or maybe windmills, you know, that kind of thing. All right. So my job is to create the content. YouTube then decides to put um, video ads or some kind of ads mixed in with my content. When enough people see those ads, I get money. All right. Enough people are already seeing my ads. Right? It's just a matter of I don't have that magic 1,000 subscribers. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. The other way I could make money is if I had people on my Patreon page. Now, honestly, I set up the account for Patreon over a year ago, and it's just sitting there because I don't, well, I guess the simple answer is I'm, I keep forgetting about it, but when I'm doing the video, I don't have internet access, and that would be the time that I would need to be on Patreon and doing a little bit there to make that happen. So if, if anybody has looked at Patreon lately for me, it looks pretty abandoned, you know, so that's, that's why I don't have anybody on Patreon. I don't think I have anybody on Patreon at the moment. 
and at the moment I'm not really I don't deserve money on Patreon because I haven't created content for Patreon. So I'm kind of like, just don't worry about Patreon right now. If you're going to do anything that you would like to do to help me, and I would very much appreciate this, if you see any of my videos that your friends might like, then I'll go ahead and share it, you know, share it on your Facebook, share it on whatever. And if you're if you haven't yet subscribed i would really appreciate it if you could just click on that subscribe button because literally i'm at 400 and well, i'm at like 440 right now if i if everybody well shoot if everybody who sees this video would click on subscribe i would be over a thousand so fast my head would spin you know that'd be freaking awesome right now a thousand is not going to make me enough money to retire no but I'd probably get my first dollar, you know, which is pretty cool when you think about it, because it's like you do something you like anyway. Um, you look at some of the people who are making money on YouTube and you're like, dude, <laughs> you know, seriously, they're making money. You know, I can do that. You know. Anyway, so that's kind of it is. You know, I've got a, I've got enough people watching the videos. I've got enough people liking the videos. I've got, you know, people commenting on the videos. Um, I've seen people are sharing the videos. You know, so that's all working. Um, the another example is, I've heard it called long tail and a couple other words, but every now and then. I'll get an email from Amazon that says that somebody has bought one of my books. And I'm like, dude, that's so cool. Because the one, the first book I published in 2009, and that was my Desert Storm book. And people, every now and then, will find it and buy it. And I'm like, I did that work in 2009, and I get like $4 every time somebody buys that. I think it's $4 a book. All right. I did the work once. People come back and find it, you know. Uh, I've got a couple, three books on on Amazon right now. Plus, you know, so if you take my YouTube name, Carlin Com, take that name, go on Amazon, and you'll find me. That's easy enough. So no, don't look for Carlin's Worlds. So that was just a name I put on the on the intro. I had to think of something and you know but anyway um long tail yeah if what I like about writing the books and also making the videos is there's videos that are still getting watched now that I made three or four years ago there's videos that I made before I came out here that are still being watched you know I get um shoot 2000 I'm trying to think what year was it you know I did a bunch of videos for some kids in a figure skating club when I lived out you know where there was figure skating and uh, so I had some friends that were figure skating so I did a few videos for them and just as part of what I was doing I put their videos up on YouTube and people are still watching that and those kids must have kids by now you know and that it's it's just always out there so people can keep going back and watching it so it's kind of fun um, the best money model that I can think of, and I've, I used to hear people talk about this, is residual income or royalties. You know, so you build something once. I mean, that's what I hate most about the, the job that I do now is every day is like Groundhog Day. I get there and you do the same job. And at the end of the day, you know, you look at your cash drawer and you make a deposit and you run a bunch of reports and you go home and you come back the next day and you do the same job. And then you look at your cash drawer and you make your deposit and you run the reports and you go home and you come back the next day. Oh, and they cut your hours because it's a government job and it's very secure. No, it's not. It's not secure. You don't have job security. Job security is what you do for yourself. So to my parents and other people who love me who were very excited about me getting a secure government job, no, not anymore. That post office could go away at the whim of any knucklehead in office. 
because we don't make enough money there to cover our expenses. You know, we are supported probably by the larger post offices. So myself and the person I work for, yeah, you know, sorry, here's your gold watch. Only it's made in China and the gold is going to fall off and no, you don't even get a watch. We're just screwing with you there. No watch for you. So yeah, it's, you know, when, when, when I talk about, yeah, I could convert my military time and get my federal retirement. That's assuming there is a federal retirement when I get there. I don't, I don't trust the government that much. I work for the government. Yeah. So I'm putting my, I'm, I'm betting my future on things like this. You know, if I create enough content, if I do, if I serve enough people, then I will deserve to eat when I'm old because I'll just keep making these videos until I can't. All right. To all the new subscribers, thank you. Uh, to everybody who has watched the videos, thank you again. It's, you know, I would probably sit here and talk to the camera anyway, but that gets pretty boring. You know, and if nobody's watching it, yeah, I'll probably do something else, you know. So I do appreciate everybody who's watched. I do read all the comments. Uh, I respond to as many as I can. Again, I live off grid. I don't have cell phone coverage out here. So I don't have internet until I get 10 miles from here is where my phone starts to work. So I don't always get to check my messages every day is the point. So when I do get, you know, Ironically, when I'm at that soul-sucking job that I joke about all the time, that's when I get to check my internet. You know, so in between selling stamps or something like that, I'll see who is watching my videos. So it's you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. More, more to come. In daylight. I'm just looking. No, it's not light outside yet. They lied. Daylight savings time. I was supposed to get more light in the morning. I don't see it yet. I was really hoping it would be light by now. This sucks. It's dark outside still. <laughs> uh, I, I think that was caused by that same government that I keep talking about. This is not a rant about governments. Alright, that's it. Bye. So yeah, if you've gotten anything useful out of this, uh, click the like button. It really helps us video producer, creator type people uh, if you can subscribe to our channels. And the reason that we're asking for that right now is YouTube a few months ago changed how they are handling the payouts. It's not necessarily a bad thing. I think they were trying to fix another problem. It just kind of put some of us in an awkward position where eventually when I get my credit up to $100, they will cut me my first check, all right? Every month it was going up a little bit based on how many views and what they're doing is they're sharing ad revenue with the video creators. Now I got it up to about $46 and then they made their change and it's just sitting there at $46. What I need Okay, so to get paid to be to be earning income on YouTube, I need 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours in the last 12 months. I already have easily enough viewed hours to qualify. I'm at right around 250 subscribers right now. Now, because Google owns YouTube, Google loves numbers, and so they have all kinds of charts and graphs and everything like that. Currently, I have 5% of my viewing audience is subscribed. Really. So I've got 95% of the people watching these videos are not subscribed. If a small percentage of those 95% would subscribe, that would kick me up to 1,000 subscribers. So please, this is not, you know, I, I, I don't sit there and hold up my little you know tin cup and ask for money very often. Um, this is the beautiful part. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe. I've got enough people already watching my videos to qualify. I just need enough subscribers to hit a thousand. 
So if a small percentage of you take a few minutes at the end of watching this video to click on the subscribe button, that would help me enormously. So thank you for taking the time to do that. Um, otherwise, thanks for watching. It's been fun making the videos. I enjoy doing it. I started off doing these as much for myself as anything because it's fun to look back at the last year and remember when I first moved out here there was nothing there was well there was rattlesnakes there was jackrabbits there was roadrunners and there was fence everything else I've made happen since I got here and not all of it turned out very well but that's kind of the fun part is I can look back at the videos and I do I, I look back at some of the videos after the fact and I'm like oh wow look at that you know this is when I did this or whatever so I've been making them for myself as much as anything, but it's been fun when I realize that other people are watching them and taking the time to, to give me a comment or ask me a question. So, you know, if you see something you like, or if you're not really sure why I did something, go ahead and ask, you know, maybe it's not a good reason. Also, I may be able to help you out a little bit because, you know, this didn't work very good, but this worked or this, you know. All right, cool. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Well, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah, that should work. Cool. I do things differently. Oh, and please, if you like any of this, it would be really awesome if you could subscribe and click that notify bell. Drop a comment if you have any questions or ideas. Share, like, comment, subscribe, notify. Oh, and Patreon if you're really an awesome kind of person. Thank you so much for watching.